Let's be seated. Good morning, church. The Bible said that in the end, the Bible said that the love of many people showers cold. We are looking at the man God uses, and we are looking at um, the man with godly passion, the man with godly passion. One thing we need to know first and foremost is that um, Christianity is becoming a religion instead of becoming a way of life. And a whole lot of people now are joining the bandwagon of just being religions. The Bible said that they have the form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. It's possible to be going to church I have no fire. And fire can be lost. Fire can be... So if you look for a man that God uses, you see a man that has a passion for God and his work to the end. In Psalm 69 and verse 9, Psalm 69 and verse 9, he said, For the zeal of thy house has eaten me up, and the reproach of them that reproach thee are falling upon me. Now, the another name for zeal is passion. So passion is like, uh, how many of you have seen, I was watching something the other day. They put maggot, like five million maggot. You saw it. They now put cucumber in it. In the twinkling of an eyes, they ate it up. They were aggressive. Because there were many. So the zeal is, he said, eating me up. He said, the zeal of the house of the Lord has eaten me up. God wants the zeal of his house to eat us up. When you eat something up, he said, to consume us. The Lord wants us to be consumed with his zeal. Not the zeal of religion, because I won't lie to you, there is even between passion for God and his work and being religious. Most of the time, we have not been able to differentiate between passion for God and being religious. And the difference is so simple. All the activity you are doing in church, all the activity you are doing that is outside God's purposes for your life is religion. It's religion. You are doing things and you know that this is not according to God's purpose for your life. So, but so that you can be seen. So that they can say that you too, you are, you are working. But we have said it last week that what do we want? Eye service or art service? When it has to do with art service, it is passion. When it has to do with eye service, it is religion. Are, are you getting it? When it has to do with eye service, you see, eye service and religion goes together. People that play religion, they know how to do a lot of eye service. But people that want to serve God and fulfill their purpose, because they do it at artily, so art service always, always go with passion for God. I don't know whether you know that you and I don't have eternity to fill our destiny on it. We have a limited time given us, all of us. When you see people like you working at, at 82, you see, having passion for evangelism because you know that it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not going, growing younger. That is closer to his grave. So, Gio is working with passion, passion that has started 1973 for 51 years. Gio's passion is still on. Some of us gave our life to Jesus Christ when 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and you're already getting tired. Look at what the Bible says, Romans chapter 12, verse 11. The Bible says that any business you are doing for God, can somebody for me? Oh, you are not there. Okay. No. Not love, yeah? No, not lagging in the future. is free. Serving the mm. Lord. It's okay. That English is uh, I'm on secondary school. Let me, Queen James, the old King James say, 
not slothful in business, vibrant in spirit, serving the law. So the passion we are talking about that the man that God uses is that he has passion. He has vibrancy in the spirit. Whatever God asks him to do, God has called him for, he will, if God says, I want you to be a village pastor, uh, village, uh, that, that I was watching this young man, one full of them and that is not a child of God. He saw it on, on, on uh, Facebook. He said that God doesn't want him to start church. He said, but you know the way they talk now. He said, but if it has to do with evangelism, mission, mission work, he said, it doesn't matter where it is, whether dangerous or not. He said, you will see me there. And he's going to all the remote area, not the one in Redeem now. There's one brother in Redeem too. And that one, not that one. This one is a young man. No, no, you're not a Lububa. That slim one now that is in the. the but this one is, he doesn't even redeem. He's an independent missionary and he's a full animal. He takes Christianity to the. To the full and he's risking his life because he knows that that is that is his his passion his purpose and he was his vibrant about it but the danger is that many of us the moment god started using us the next thing we do is that we now want to be like others not everybody is supposed to have a church not everybody is called to be a pastor so the most important god wants is that god wants a man that will be passionate that will be vibrant in his purpose that god has chosen for him because you know why many, of, many people are depressed? You cannot be passionate about God's purpose for your life and be depressed. Depression, most of the time, is because somebody is walking outside his grace. Somebody's walking. It's like, it's like they're telling me now that I'm doing what gives me joy. It gives me joy. It gives me joy. Do you know what? Why I've woken up to do something this morning. It gives me joy. You don't, I don't need someone. I don't, need to be, I don't need to be motivated. I don't need to be inspired by anybody. No. It gives me joy. But I, I want to ask you and I, what gives you joy? Because if God calls you, you'll be vibrant in spirit. Serving the Lord. Underline that word though. Serving the Lord. Not serving the Jew. Not serving the elders. Not serving the church. Because the way some of us talk, is as if we are out to serve the church. And as a child of God, you, your service is not just to the church. You may be serving God in RCCG. Your service is ultimately to God. That's a lot of people don't think. They think that because they are in this, in this denomination, is the denomination they are serving. You are never serving any denomination. You are serving God through that denomination. So, God is no longer looking for more method. God is no longer looking for more, more styles in the church. God is looking for men of fire. Men whose passion is on their knees. Men who is passionate by prayer, men who is passionate by the word. Do you see people like uh, Jonathan Edward, David Brennan, John Noss, a man that said, give me Scotland or I die. He used to told us, some of you don't read about these people. He used to told us that this man was praying in the snow and he was still sweating. Imagine that somebody praying in the snow and is still sweating. In fact, at a time, the Bible said that the king of England, the queen of England, said that he feared the prayer of John Knox than he feared the army of England. The prayer of one man. And that man turned the whole country upside down. I go to Scotland now every year to preach. They've sold almost all the churches nightclub, mosque. I can tell you many churches in Scotland now. Churches that have history of 500 years, 400 years, they are for sale. Because passion can be lost. And that's why we should begin to be careful when we begin to play religion. The moment you deviate from passion for Christ and you are now is about passion for church, what you are now carrying is passion for church, church. By the time you die, church goes. Oh. The nomination goes. What happened to all those demons? You see, I want you to go to Scotland. You will see our churches, BB churches, cathedral. Every cathedral empty. Now, I read yesterday in Italy. Italy, they used to have 100% Catholic. Now, they said as at this month, they now have less than 10% attending max in the Catholic church. Less than 10 That's what religion does. When we point people to denomination instead of pointing them to God, 
Let your passion not just be about the church. Let it be about God, your calling, what he has called you to do. So God does not need more men, more, more, more method. He needs more men. More men that can kneel their, their, their knees in prayer, that can be engrossed in the word of God. Why am I saying this? Because passion is what that gives meaning to life. Anything you are doing in life and you are not doing it passionately, you cannot succeed in it. Should I say it again? You may have some little, little success that people say, okay, but at the end of your life, you yourself know that you are a failure. That's why, why did you see that a lot of people die with regret? I keep on telling you, close to your deathbed, regret always confront people. What they should have done that they didn't do. Where they should have gone, they didn't go. People, they, could, they should have forgiven. They didn't forgive. Close to death, it confront them. So when you have passion about your purpose, it energizes your life. God made us to live a passionate life, to serve him and his people with vigor and vitality. God is looking for a man that serves him and his people with vigor and vitality. Why will a pastor say, I'm tired? I want to leave church. You know, like when me, pastor was in the meeting, he was in the meeting with us yesterday. It doesn't matter. You see, you face a challenge. You. Maybe, maybe they've been telling you, give your life to Jesus Christ, all your problems will be solved. I don't know who is telling you that. Too. When do you give your life to Jesus Christ, your problem has just started. All this Christianity we are preaching to people is about give me, give me, give me, give me. You oh, see, that Christianity is not going to survive in Nigeria. In the next hundred years, if Christianity is surviving in Nigeria, we should be thanking God. Because the kind of Christianity we are preaching now, we are no longer preaching what we used to know. That it's not about whether God blesses me or not, whether he, whether he, whether he, whether he, he blesses me or not, he is still by God. But how many people are doing that now? When a pastor himself is going to Abalis, when ministers are coming to church, and when they have a problem, they still go to Yemiwo. What did you see? When a pastor could tell his wife that uh, uh, elder said you must go and, come and do sacrifice in the village, give to sister what is sister, a pastor. A minister. The Lord will help us. God wants you to serve him with passion. Serve his people with vitality. Whatever you do, do it fervency. When you love people, love them with passion. When you greet people, greet them with passion. Whatever you do, he said, do it as unto the Lord. If it's going to be as unto the Lord, it's going to be with passion. What is passion? Passion can be the highest level of enthusiasm. You know what I mean by enthusiasm? When you are excited, do what you are doing. You don't need anybody to, to summonize you. And eh? why you don't come to church? Why you don't come to church? If you are I mean, our workers know, and I think things are changing now, that you have to come to church early. You know, somebody come from, uh, we are from, uh, I mean, uh, Bogije, and they must be in church by 7.30. To 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 Bonica, imagine that. But there must be something that is pushing every one of us beyond what we my pastor say. But what we God say, He wants us to have this passion in our life, enthusiasm. So God wants people that keep their passion to them. Why? Because passion can be lost. Passion can be. We have seen people that started evangelism in the day we started in school. Many of them are bastarded. We have seen people that used to, used to be a Christian that are married twice. Married twice. One day we were, we were doing evangelism. I, I, I started a little church in Esak at that time. 1993, I was doing evangelism to the village because my calling after I finished my assignment as the president of school was to plant a church to the indigi. So I was doing evangelism and I went to one house. I one Baba came out and he looked at me and said, hmm, 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 a car, hmm. That's how we used to follow Babalola. They went to go and bring Bible. Old Bible. Those old Bible are very big. Old big like this. Tight. He says it's already a Babalao. And I'm telling you now, a lot of so-called Christians are now going back to traditional religion. Now, they are saying that the Oyibo people came to deceive us. That our, our, our father was a pastor. I'm not the one they told me, I read it, the man, I, the man was confessing that, uh, that his church is not growing. Because his church is not growing. That he has back to the traditional religion. Now who called him in the first instance? What do they preach to him when he was born again? 
See, let us say that let's be careful with our, our, our workers. Because when they, when they now encounter challenges, they don't say that no, they are not, they are not doing it again. Because they say if it is your college and it's your purple, it doesn't matter what anybody wants to discourage you. You will refuse to be. Will I be here if, I, if, 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 if it's not for the passion of God? Everything that people will do against you is to discourage you. Everything that if a people that you are looking up to that don't want to bite about you, what are they preaching today? Uh, see them. But what are they? And they are the people that when they see you, when they see you physically, ha, ah, God is using you, thank God. God is using you, Pastor. We thank God for you. But they didn't know that you already had that they just said something. And you will do to you too, you do as if you don't know. Because it doesn't matter to you. Please, please, I'm begging you. Don't let anything discourage you. And I cannot beg you if you lack passion. If I beg you to tomorrow and the passion is not there, you will give up. People that lack passion always give up on God. Passion can be lost. Passion can be lost. When, why, 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 how, how is passion lost? When a minister is not beginning to do things that is not, that is not in consonance with his calling. Let's give an example. In the book of John, you remember the story of uh, Mary and Martha? You can describe it both of them. One is religious, the other one is, I mean, passionate about Jesus. And the one that is religious is always angry with the one that's having passion. They say, hey, 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 I mean, is it the only one that knows Jesus? What all about we that are. <clears throat> He came to report Mary to Jesus. A lady that just wants to know more of God. He just wants to know Jesus. Just want to. That's what is important, though. You may know church, and God of the church may not know you. Do you know that Martha knew about Jesus? She didn't know Jesus. Jesus Christ told him, "Say, Martha, Martha, you are encumbered about many things. Only one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Have you read it before? Mary has chosen that good part. So the good part is the part of passion towards your destiny with God. Like John, always want to be at the bosom. No religion. I just love him. Anybody can talk whatever they want to talk. And because I love him, I fear him. Because a lot of us now, we say we love God, we don't fear him. Because, yes, because a lot of people say they love Jesus, they come to church, but they don't fear God. I will actually show that we don't fear God. A pastor is beating his wife. It's even, it's even horrible for you to hear that a pastor lifts up his hand to beat his wife or talking. How can, I, 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 I hear a pastor, some pastors are petty. How can you be that petty? Yeah, you are by changing words. Yeah, changing words. Yeah. Ah, listen to me, Christianity, you, mean, you, mean, you are not born again. A pastor saying that. Me, I, me, I, was, I, mean, I read on the, on, the, on the news. A pastor said that. Yeah, you come up with me, Obadu. A pastor on the social on the social media. Only pastor. Only She cannot try any rubbish in the church. She knows that I'm your normal. Please, let's watch it. Passion can be lost when you are busy doing good things and not the right thing. It's possible to be doing good things, arranging chair, uh, uh, coordinating department in the church is good. But is it the right thing for for you? They to, do they have anything they've told me? Uh, come and join this uh, association of clinical uh, management, clinical, come and take certification of this. What is it going to do with my... Pastor, no, just come and be a member, member of mini clinical association of management. I say, what is it going to do with my destiny? I don't know where you are getting it, because I discovered that we are too busy about many things that doesn't have to do with our life. So I make sure that I make sure that I narrow down my life to only thing that is about my destiny. That's why you can't see me everywhere. You can't see me everywhere. You can't see me in everybody's house. You can't see me because I'm, I mean, if I'm not doing what God asked me to do, you see me. I'm, I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm in the house. It's either I'm chasing with my wife. I'm busy. I mean, that's what I do. I'm in the house. If I said I have something to do, I will be in that house for morning tonight. 
Because what, what, what am I trying to impress? Because I mean, I told my, I was telling my friends, eh, not everybody God has gone to become professors. Most of my friends now are professor, doctor. I thank God for their lives. They wanted to give me doctor seven years ago. I said, but me, you need here. They said, Pastor, no, you, you need it. I mean, I said, for work. You said I can be any doctor. What? Is it, it may be good for others. If you have political ambition. Are, are you getting me? So when you want to put your CV to look so bogus, even G will remove doctor from his name. What am I looking for? God told you, he said he used to be a reverend, doctor. Can you go, can you go? And I put PhD, I mean, you put PhD. So I can know. He said, God told him that. That's why you are stressed. He now discovered that he's already having gray hair. God said, that's why you are stressed. Because it's, it's not, it's, it has become your church. He said, God told him, whose church is it? He said, the redeemed Christian church of God. Since that time, he removed all those titles and he kept it simple. 82, no blood pressure. At 82. Just focusing on things that have to do with his... Death. Can't you see what is happening in the church, in the redeemed? Do you see Joe when we're losing his focus? Look, with everything that is happening, and they said this pastor do this. He said, in a, he said, he said, even Gio has 12 disciples, and one is a thief. He said, I mean, he said, he said, in Nigeria alone, we have over 200,000 pastors. Ah, uh ah, -uh. he said, if you have one or two that are insensitive, insensitive, I said, ah, he said, I mean, have you not tried? I believe you had it. Praise God. Pastor can be lost. So, how does he lose the game? When we become familiar with God, too familiar. Familiarity breeds content. Don't be too familiar with God. Don't be too close. Sorry. Don't be too. Am I your Lord of Free? Abima. Am I your Lord of Free? Because I mean, most of the wives, God of your call, don't you make Belele? Most of the wives, they are beginning to ridicule their husband. No. Familiarity shouldn't be content. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That, that you are vulnerable towards each other. You see the nakedness of your spouse, does not care about anything. The same thing, but for the fact that God is revealing Himself to us, He He gave us access. Access is a gift. We shouldn't we shouldn't abuse it. Because one thing that God gave all of us is the gift of access. So because we now have access to Him, does not mean we should take Him for granted. Familiarity is making people to lose their passion. Should I give an example? In the book of First Samuel, chapter four. They told Eli, 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 God said to me, anyone that honor me, I will honor. Whoever hold me, I will, I will hold in I me. Whoever hold me in I esteem, I too, I will hold them. But anybody that, that handle me with, with content, I will, I will likely esteem them too. That's what God told Eli. And God said, Eli, uh -uh. when your father has left this, I was the one that chose them. He said, I changed my life, I changed my world. He said, you, nobody will live long in your family again. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said that because he has lost his passion by not being forceful about holiness. The Bible said that he, 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 he corrected his children, but he did not restrain them. He did not restrain them. Eli died because of everything. He died because of that. You know what? Well, after they told him everything, you know what he said? He said, he said, he's God. Let him do whatever he likes. Ah! You didn't read it in your Bible. Should I show it to you? Ah ah. Only Shabi is God. Let him do whatever he wants to do. It's like Ezekiah too. Mm. Oga, what you are doing? You should bring children. Shabi, Shabi, Shabi. During my own time, there will be peace, and I don't care. Anything you do, please don't get the silver by. You until you don't turn. Until you turn. People, people, people. Oh, you remember the story of Uza? Uza. Oh, for, ah, ah, ark of God. More for more shibu. Don't fall. Just a touch in you. That for the fact that God has not shot some people dead, does not mean that they are living, no. I want to Kusara. Many pastors have oh, me, many pastors have died while living. Forget about whatever you are seeing. Because now we are measuring success by by number of people that follow you on social media. Hear me? You can have one million followers <coughs> on social media. A single one may not be born again. <coughs> so don't be carried away. That you have popular members in your church. Are they following God? That's the most important. 
Don't, 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 don't hold God in light esteem. Hold him in high esteem. Because people that hold him in low esteem, they always take him for granted. Then, people lose their passion for God when they don't pay attention to their family life. We have discovered that number one area that pastors are always losing their passion is that when there is no peace, joy in their marriage. I've told you last week, please, put the others right. God, <coughs> first. <coughs> your family, next. Ministry is not next, though. Stop telling your wife, you want to destroy my ministry. <coughs> you want to destroy my ministry. Your first ministry is that woman. Because if you don't, if you don't say that, uh, first, first uh, Timothy chapter 3, any man that doesn't know how to put his family in order, he said, that man should not become a deacon or a, a bishop. He said, he should force, he said, he said, if he doesn't know how to handle his wife and children, how will he handle the church of God? If your family is sick, take a time out to fix things. Don't live on, on, on a, on a, on suspicion, on an assumption. Don't live on a, God knows that uh, I'm serving him. If my wife does not believe in me, it's not like that. So in the days we are growing up, if a pastor's marriage is not, is not good or a pastor commits adultery, pastor will confess and he will step down. Now, they are committing adultery. I mean, one is in Abuja. I can't even forget that incident that I read. The man was saying himself. He accused his wife of adultery. The wife accused him of um, adultery. The wife said, anytime he goes to South Africa, he has a woman there. Now, he has divorced his wife. He has married that one from South Africa. No stepping down, no, no remorse. And there is crowd. And Africa will not have to judge people because of crowd. We judge people because, listen to me, a lot of people on the altar today, they are witch doctors. A lot of people that are on, on, on the person today, they are, because we know what our father used to do now. Ah, that's what the, the one you can put in your mouth. Oh, yeah, you there. Hile! Hile! Oh! He went, one is even playing football. It's football that's used to do deliverance. I can't imagine. Yes. One, that's one they call him. I don't let me mention him. This is when he wants to do the deliverance inside the church. He will play football. As he do like this with ball, people are falling down. How many of you have seen it? Ah, sir. And you're not telling me that that one is following God because of the crowd. And my, our fathers have said, Orumila, we, we may not, we don't question them more. But Orumila, many to my love. Pay attention to your family. Set to conflict in your family. Eh, eh. Yo, Bani, you know, Nijia, yo, Ada, Amanda, 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 Kwemo, Amanda, Mi, Kweni. You would have not let you belly food. When you are preparing food, you add the soul to it too. If you know your wife had trouble, make allowance for her trouble and manage her. Because when you marry, it has become it's only a coup. You have to manage it. You are smelling it, you are swallowing it, but then blame me. How many of you know a coup? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when you when you are doing that in a coup, when you are doing a pamoy, you no know, pamoy, when they are doing pamoy, like you want to, you are pressed. You have to hold it. So so, so, uh, so when you are not doing that and you are feeling pressed, you have to hold it now because uh, uh, then again, people lose their passion because of how they view ministry. Wrong view of ministry is making a lot of people not to be passionate again. Ministry is about signs and wonders, no more about, about souls, no more about the kingdom and the interests of the kingdom. If you see ministry from that point, you soon go and join a court. There are a lot of brotherhood now. As well, brotherhood in the world, you know, our brotherhood. Uh, uh, there is a friend of mine that they want to put his hand into brotherhood. They told him that uh, there's a there's a meeting they normally do in one month in the Korodu. They took him there. When it got there, they told him that now he has seen them now that he can't go out. That he had to make a covenant with them. He ran mad. We ran, we, ran, we had to take him to to camp during one congress. It was the camp God delivered him. Be careful. Then when you are busy, when you are excessively busy, when you are too busy, you are busy. It's possible to be busy and not and not and not effective. You are busy here and there so that everybody can see you. That's religion. Busyness is possible to be busy and God does not see you because you are busy outside your purpose. 
You are busy outside your calling. You are busy outside what God has destined you to do. Time has gone. Passion can be restored. Because of my time, passion can be restored. Second Timothy 1 6. I put in remembrance. Steer up the gift of God. The gift of God that you have lost, you can still say it up. How do you say it up? Pay attention to your purpose. <clears throat> and lastly, because of time, because my time is up. Always as a minister, minister from the overflow. You are taking Bible study, you are leading prayer, you are preaching. Please, I beg you. Always minister from the overflow of what you have received. Because if you don't preach from the overflow, you'll be exhausted. A lot of people are suffering burnout today because they are not ministering from the overflow. What do I mean by overflow? Out of the abundance you have gathered, waiting upon the Lord, in the presence of the Lord, out of it, you too, you can now minister. But if you are just listening to another person's preaching to go and deliver it, and uh, it's a battle of time. Because you are meeting from the surface. You are not meeting from the overflow. Whatever you are preaching and teaching, let it be from the, out of the abundance of the earth. The Bible says that the mouth speaks. Out of the abundance you have gathered in the presence of God. That's how you should minister. You can't come and minister. You have no prayer, no prayer life, no Bible study life, no, no closeness to God, no meditation, no meditation. And you are just coming to come and say story all the time. Watch it. The Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Yesterday, we have a, we're supposed to have a guest speaker today. In the evening. In the evening. They even go to buy food, fruit that will package. In the evening, the man, the, he's a provincial pastor, he called me and said that he has an injury with his leg. He won't be able to. And he said, God bless you, sir. No problem. Now, if there's no overflow, I would have looking for somebody to... <laughs> I don't know where you're getting it. Meanwhile, I've sent the topic... No, I've sent the topic. He gave me that topic. He was the one that gave me the topic. I've sent the topic out. So now I'm forced to take it. So when the uh, uh, they said that the fruit and come, I said it's for the guest speaker because I'm the guest speaker this morning. <laughs> Praise God. Please, I'm, I'm just saying it because God will use everything to test you. If you don't have overflow, you soon dry up. That's why you see the ocean is not it's never dry. Whatever is giving, he gives this, he gives he give the, the sky, he give he come here, then it's never free, it's never sense. That's what you see today. I was telling my wife where we're coming, where you're coming, that, that ocean at that side, oh my blue it's always smelling. Am I right? Do you normally notice? I told my wife, why is it always smelling? The owner man do best burning. When you know, if they throw it back there and it takes it away, it should have been good. One thing about ocean is that whatever you throw into it. If you draw, it will draw it back. And the ocean does not return dead thing. Yeah, yeah. If any fish die in the 100,000 kilometers away, it will be put into the shore. Have you ever seen some big whales? Because the destiny of the ocean does not return dead. Our destiny should be return dead. So, so that anytime enemy attacks you, anything that is dead cannot stay in your life. So when you are missing from overflow, no death around you. In your spirit, in your soul, your body, you are lively. I am depressed. Pastor, they are talking about me. You don't have overflow. When you see some people say, Pastor, I'm tired. I'm not the only one. The pressure is too much. I have this problem. I have to pay this bill. Listen to me. When you have the overflow, nobody knows what your problem is solved. I've been here for 32 years doing this same work. Nobody has ever... Many people don't know that. There are times that I have a need that... It, it will remain one minute and say, I hold on. But because it's a covenant and you have no oh God, you have from overflow, you hold yourself. I've been there. But somebody say, I'm tired. As I'm not doing it again. I want to give up. You, don't, you are not meaning from overflow. Because whatever you don't have, you can't give it. Can we buy that now, right? Father, let me not lose my passion. Let me not lose my passion. Set me on fire. Help me to be vibrant in spirit serving the Lord. Can we talk to God, Father? Help me to be vibrant in spirit serving the Lord. Help me to be vibrant in spirit serving the Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Let your name be glorified. Father, revive us, all of us. Restore back our passions. Restore back our passions. 
in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 